I haven't found much written on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet about how to hook up a throttle to a carbureted engine. I bought this kit, found this kit. It was for a um, Zenoa, I think, engine, and said it fit on an MCRC engine, which is what I have, and uh, specifically to uh, this m type of engine mount. But these are the spare parts, or the extra parts I had left over after I'd installed it. Uh, I guess they're to adapt it to um, different kinds of engine mounts. <clears throat> um, but um, after taking it all apart with these parts left over and then reassembling it to here, I um, see now how uh, it's going to work out for me as soon as I can get a servo that'll handle the torque that the throttle spring puts on it. And all of these parts, except for, except for this little arm right here that attaches to the throttle butterfly valve axis, can be easily acquired or from RC shops around the country on the web. Um, but uh, these are the two critical components. Um, this kit, is put together or assembled by Speedmaster Model Products. It's got uh, a web website there on it. Uh, Zenoa Throttle Kit. And um, that seems to be the solution that I need. I do have one problem with it, the way I've mounted it here, is uh, this yoke right here that attaches to the bell crank gets wedged onto the bracket that the whole assembly is fastened to, which means I'll probably have to take it off and somehow or another uh, either put a spacer like this to elevate it off of that mount a little bit vertically so that that, that yoke right there does not uh, wedge itself that way, or I could just allow the server, the servo to uh, to do it. I could just allow the servo itself to push it, to push it back into place. Eventually, I guess it would, it doesn't take much, just a little bump. Maybe I'll leave it like it is. Pain in the ass to get it on there. Well, here's the setup. And I just temporarily put a small wire in there. All I have to do is pull, so that wire will actually do fine on the server, on the servo for the throttle, uh, because the spring closes it, and if the spring doesn't close it, it has, if the spring doesn't close it, it has a reverse that will um, close it. If it fails, then the throttle will, will go back to the zero position and uh, if it fails, the spring will pull it closed.